hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to discuss a very very important topic and literally every medical student want to know when they start their USMLA journey and that is what if i don't match in any residency program is USMLA worth our time and money let's find out in this video that what can we do if we ever come across in a situation when we are not accepted by any residency program and guys if you have any more points or opportunity that you think that can help medical students in this situation please comment down below so that everyone gets help by us mle well it is everyone's dream to pursue their career in a country which is well advanced in their choice of field with latest research centers and equipments, U.S. has almost left everyone behind in this field. U.S. has more hospital, which means more jobs and more facilities. So let's get back to our main topic if we didn't get a residency spot. So let's start from here. You heard about U.S. Mili and you wanted to take U.S. Mili and get a residency in USA. Now you took U.S. Mili steps and scored a good percentage. So you already checked the one box from your list of your similar journey. After your exams, your seniors told you that you need to have good connections in the USA to get good letter of recommendations and interview invites during residency match cycle. So you applied to hundreds of hospitals to get hands-on rotations. You spent way too much money on these rotations by either doing part-time jobs or using all of your savings from your medical school duration. So, so till now you have done rotations in US and did some publications as well. You are really excited for the match cycle. You applied to more than 150 programs as suggested by your seniors by paying thousands of dollars. Let's say you got few interviews but on March 3rd you got an email saying you didn't match. So what is the next step? Let's discuss this. So this was your plan A and unfortunately you didn't succeed. Now, your next plan should be the plan B and that is get matched in the second time when you apply for ERAS application. You need to understand that many IMGs match in the second time and when they apply to ERAS and most of the qualified IMGs match by the third time. So just don't lose hope. Email PDs at places you got interviews in the previous cycles and ask for feedbacks for improving your application for the next match cycle. Thing you can do to improve your CV includes research, number of abstracts, presentations, and publications. Let's say you did everything that was suggested but you still didn't match in the next cycle. Plan C. Either try third time which is recommended for IMGs or switch to alternatives. Alternatives are only recommended in that condition when you just don't want to practice medicine anymore and looking for any other opportunity. Third, match cycle is a do and die situation. You may need to change your research activities and do as many publications as you can and more importantly networking. As it is your third time participating in this match cycle, you are now familiar with your weaknesses and strength and make a good application for this cycle. Now let's discuss alternatives as many of you want to know if your similar journey is a dead end or not. Here are the few alternatives that you can get into without residency in the United States like medical writing, research scientist, health insurance, post-secondary medical instruction, medical and health services management, physician assistant, medical consulting, medical science license. Now let's say you want to practice medicine but tired of match cycles in the United States and don't want to continue your journey in the US. So here are the few countries that accept USMLE exams and ECFMG certification and you can apply for residency in these countries. These include Australia, Ireland, Israel, United Arab Emirates, Dubai, New Zealand, Qatar, United Kingdom. This was the video guys. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.